Thinking is the hardest work there is. That is why so few people engage in it. Henry Ford. Hello and welcome to the Durham Talents Channel. My name is Jesse Durham. Welcome to the show. Today we're discussing a quote from Henry Ford where he said, Thinking is the hardest work there is. That's why so few people engage in it. And I appreciate that this comes from Henry Ford, someone who is so prominent, of course, in the business world, someone who is so innovative with everything he did and implemented with the assembly line. So there's a lot of historical context. There's a lot of impulse to look at what such a big businessman would say as well, I think. And what I like is how this saying of thinking is reflected back to me immensely from R. Nelson Nash's work in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker. So I think it's very readily discerned for all of us busy folks out there, the parents and business owners and just all these different things that we are doing. It's easy to be a hamster on a wheel, just caught up in the activity, caught up in the busyness of life and what we do and work and business and all these things. And yet I would point out a couple of key principles from Nash's work is first think long range emphasis on the first word of think you know henry ford said thinking is the hardest work there is so there's that but also he points how the vast majority doesn't so what i would say is in my opinion if you're listening to this kind of information um you're you're making the cut you know you're the cream of the crop you're spending some time to better yourself and to grow and develop and to learn and along this line of thinking in general, and of course, like Nash says, thinking in particularly about long range endeavors, long range plans. You know, Nash would talk about how we should be thinking, planning, and acting, implementing, right? Acting intergenerationally. And that's huge. And then the second principle that I get from Nash is rethink. You're thinking so many of us, we grow up thinking certain things, feeling and believing certain things, and that may change over the course of time. So many things won't, but many things may. And again, if we allow ourselves to, and if we commit ourselves to rethinking our thinking and just asking, well, how is that? Why is that? I mean, those are great questions to ask and to think about. So that's my question. Are you just going through life or are you giving real thought to and not just not just personal finance, not just becoming your own banker, but what kind of time are we committing to some quiet time, some away time? You know, Jesus would frequently go up into the mountains and such. It seems like a good idea to separate ourselves from the business of life and family and work for some times to be able to have time for things such as thinking. How are we planning long range? How are we thinking long range and planning long range so that we can act long range? You know, what are you reading? What are you listening to? What conversations are you having or could you be having? Should you be having? That's for you to decide, of course. I'm just asking these questions. What is it that you're thinking long range about? What is it that you think you should spend more time thinking long range about? What do you think you should be questioning? What do you think you should be rethinking that you already do? Question that. Rethink that. Reevaluate. Take a step back. Detach. Look at the situation with fresh eyes from a different angle and perspective. And validate that or discard it if you find something that after rethought should be changed or moved. So if you have a quote that you'd like us to be able to cover here, I'd love to be able to hear from that. Otherwise, be about the business of thinking with me. But this has been a great pleasure for me. If you'd like to reach me to talk about how you could implement this idea, this long-range thinking idea of how to become your own banker, then you can reach me at 828-817-4223 or you can email durhamtalents at gmail.com. This has been a great pleasure for me. I look forward to our next conversation. Have a great day. Take care.